support Hillary Benefits and Cosmetics, and she is going to make my eyebrows glamorous, right? Because as you can see, they're growing, and I'm not doing anything to them. So what, what are you going to do to me? Well, first of all, um, I am so excited that you're here because we are going to make your brows fabulous. Um, first of all, I'm going to show you how we shape brows um, at Benefit. Um, we do a th something that we call brow mapping. Um, so with brow mapping, what I do is I look at where your brows should ideally start, arch, and end um, based on your face shape and your bone structure. Um, we don't believe in stencils. We believe every woman is unique. Um, and so we look at what's going to be the best brow shape for you. All right, so let me show you how we shape brows at Benefit to make okay. sure that you get the best brow shape for your face shape, your bone structure. Um, so first of all, what we do is we call it brow mapping. And I'm going to let you take a peek oh as we do this. Okay. Stop it. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> Those hairs. Honey, everyone feels that way in the morning, don't worry. <laughs> All right, so first, from the groove of the nose going straight up, that's where your brow should start. So your brow's starting in the perfect spot. A lot of people make the mistake of starting their brows out from the side of the nostril. Now the problem is that your brow is always going to be too far apart if you do that. This. If you start your brows here, mm -hmm. straight up, it actually has a really nice slimming effect on the nose, it makes the eyes appear proportionate, everything looks the way that it should. But if you start your brows out here, it actually makes the nose appear whiter, mm -hmm. and it'll make your eyes appear too far apart. So by starting, the, this is probably the most important thing is where you start your brows. You want to make sure that you start them in as much as possible. Then where your brows should arch is from the side of the nose through the center of your eye. Right there is where the high point of the brow is. Now yours, of course, is there as well. But like many people, it starts to round out a little bit here. And that's actually something that I see a lot, or a lot of real round brows. And the problem with a round brow is that it can actually make you look more surprised than sexy. And we want sexy, right? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. All right, there are no surprises in our world. <laughs> Sexiness, that's it. Yeah, make this <laughs> Let's go. And then for maximum lift, you want to make sure your brow ends in the right place. So from the side of the nose to the outer corner of the eye, straight out, that's where your brow should end. And like most people, we'll need to use a little bit of brow product to help it out a little bit, to make sure that it ends in the right place. Now the reason for that is that we have a straight line from here to here, which gives you the lift, mm -hmm. and then a straight line from here to here, which helps to extend that, which actually makes your cheekbones look higher as well. Because your eye wants to create that open space, and then it wants to then your cheekbone and your brow to meet at the back. So you get that beautiful almond shape that's tilted upwards with a nice lift. So it's kind of some visual trickery that we do with the brows, but that's how we do it. And uh, we do over a million brows a year. So uh, obviously we got, we got a little bit of knowledge in there. That's good, that's yes. good, yes. that's good. All right, the shape of, I believe that the shape of the brow actually comes from the top. So you're right, if it's done badly, you'll go too thin. Yeah. But if it's done well, that's where you get your shape from. All right, so. Now I use a lot of wax so that I can move it around. I get real close to the hairline. And then my little trick, that I probably shouldn't tell people, but I do, is I draw a line. So that's that way I know exactly where that hair is. And then I line up the edge of my strip. And there you go. You get a perfect brow line. Is it perfect? I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> and then I use my tweezers for perfection. that will just sit you down, slap on a bunch of hot wax. They won't talk to you. They won't guide you in the right direction. They won't show you what they're doing with your brows. So make sure that you're working with someone, with someone who actually like has a project in mind and actually gives you that full consultation. All right. So take a peek at what we've done so far. Oh, yeah. So you can see that what we're moving in is those straight lines. Now, I have left a couple of brow hairs right there. I want those to continue to grow back in. Because that is the line we're going for. So I'm going to fill that in with a little brow makeup to give the illusion that you have hair there while it's growing back. I like it. So it's 
not a dramatic change because you actually have great brows once you let them grow back in. Right. No, it's, I like it. It's just using brow makeup to fill in the blanks to allow it to continue to grow back in. And then I'm going to use my tweezers just to make sure I get all those little hairs. Especially since you're growing your hair back, I don't want to remove too much. And then something that your viewers will notice is that when I tweeze, mm -hmm. I pull the hair to the side in the direction of the hair growth parallel to your skin. That is the best way to tweeze because that's the way that you can grab the root of the hair. Oh, okay. If you tweeze pulling outward, you're actually going to break the hair off and when it grows back it'll look thicker because you've broken it off instead of gotten it at the root. So you want to make sure that if you are doing tweezing that you get it at the root like I've been showing. That side to side motion and fast. This is our browsings. Okay. Browsings is a wax and powder combination. Okay. And so first you start with the wax and this grooms your hair and then you just use the powder to fill in certain right. areas. Okay. You don't have to draw the whole thing. And it, oh, it comes with a little tweezer set. Oh, it that's does. So cute. It comes with two <laughs> brushes and a tweezer. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. I like the long handle brush. I find it a lot easier. All right, so first we're gonna start with the wax and I'm just gonna smooth that over the entire brow. It's a sheer tinted wax. So if you're in a hurry and you don't wanna do the whole brow thing, even that makes a huge difference. So the wax alone already okay. starts to give you some shape. Yeah, it looks good. Now to really define the brow and to help you grow in some certain areas, then you take a little bit of the powder on the flat part of the brush, and we're going to use that to create the illusion of a shadow in the area that we're trying to grow hair back. So this is right under that arch there. Because someone definitely took your brows too round and too thin up there, so we're going to use powder to create the illusion of more hair. and then down here as well. So we'll give you the illusion of a fuller brow on the bottom. And then again here on the top where I left the hair to help your brow grow back. All right, go ahead and take a look at that. And then I'm gonna blend it through, this of course. Great. Don't mind the redness, but yeah. everything else looks good. <laughs> the redness goes away pretty quick. Unfortunately, it's because we just pulled out a bunch of hair. Well, you know, they <laughs> always say don't ever get your eyebrows done when you're just about to go to an event. No. <laughs> you just got to wait do a couple it, of days. Do it a day or two yeah. before. Absolutely. No, it looks great. I'm going to check this out again. Don't wait till the last minute, that's yeah. for sure. I like this. It looks great. Yeah. So I'm going to finish you off with a brow highlighter. This is called Highbrow Glow. Okay. And this one is made for a medium to deep skin tone. We have a different one that's great for a, me a light to medium skin tone. Okay. So this one, you just draw a line right underneath the arch of your brow. And then down a little bit into the inner corner of the eye. So you can see where I placed it. Okay. Then you can use a brush, but I'm a finger person. I like the warmth. Do a pat and roll blend. And this is a gorgeous way to quickly highlight and add a little bit of shimmer. Show off your new brow. You like? Yeah, no, I love it. Okay, so this is the before, a mess. This is the after, gorgeous, gorgeous. And now we're gonna complete the look. And I'm gonna get this product because it looks amazing. It looks good. Oh, to get the waxing on the brows. Well, it depends on your hair growth. 
but usually I recommend planning on every three weeks. And then if your hair doesn't grow that fast, you can probably stretch it to four yeah, weeks. My hair doesn't really grow that fast. I, I know there's a, a girl I know. I'm not gonna say her name. She uh, goes every week and I'm like Some people have to. Yeah, it depends well, but on her your hair eyebrows growth. are thin to me. To me they're uh, thin. I yeah. don't think they're well some I mean, people I get a little things. addicted yeah. to brows. Every week is, <laughs> I think that's a Alright, so we're just gonna do one more wax line here. Now, if you have a scar, yeah. you never wax over it. Also, you don't wanna wax over a beauty mark? Yeah, no. Now, piercings, as long as you take the ring out, you can wax over it. On this side, yeah, one one side is I, I know is thinner than the other. Yeah, so this one's going to be a little harder for you to grow back because it is a little thinner than the other one. Yeah. So you start to see the hair grow back. Because I know the line. I don't know if it's this one or this one. One the line is longer and the other one's yes. shorter. So. so I'm going to use brown makeup to make them match. Yeah, that's usually what I try to do. Yeah, you know what to do. You know what to do. All right. So then we're gonna put the brown makeup on once again. Start with the wax and smooth that over the entire brow. The thing that's great about our wax is that it captures the hair, but it doesn't stick to your skin. So if you're in a hurry, you can just slip it on and it still gives you a little bit of definition. But then to perfect the line, we're gonna use a little bit of our brow powder. Brow powder is what makes it a little easier to grow your brows back in. Because it will blur the line between the hair that has grown in and the little hair that hasn't quite grown in yet. Yeah. Yes, I like it. 